Well, tonight the Blue Jackets take on the Carolina Hurricanes for the first time this season, and it has been the case throughout the course of this season. Tonight there are some guys that aren't going to be able to play. One of those is defenseman Cody Golubev. He got injured on Saturday in New Jersey, and the other is Ryan Murray. And Jody, he's been in and out of the lineup this year. Not good not to have him in tonight. No, he suffered a little setback with his lower body injury. We heard from Todd this morning, and, you know, that's not great. But there's great news coming. Two guys are back tonight, and that is a big deal. And those two guys are Matt Calvert. He's been out since the Anaheim game. And Boone Jenner is going to play his first game of the regular season. He got injured during training camp, got a broken hand, as a matter of fact. And Boone says it's nice to get back in the lineup and try to break this five-game losing streak. It's tough. I think, um, you know, from the first game of the year to, to the last game on Saturday night there, it's been tough to watch each game, uh, you know, when you want to be out there and, and helping the guys. So, um, you know, right now we're looking forward. We're not looking back at that. Uh, you know, there's no reason tonight, Tuesday night here at home, we, we shouldn't come out flying, and uh, I think we got to be eager for a win. Jody, when Boone Jenner comes back into your lineup, things that you can count on are energy and tenacity. And the blueprint for the Blue Jackets, really. He plays to what they want to do, their identity. And that's right, energy. And he's fired up. This is his first game of this season. He said this morning it's felt, he feels like he's had two summers. <laughs> well, yeah, it's been a long time for him. And another guy that it seemed like a long time before he got a chance to play in an NHL game this year is Brian Gibbons. He came here from Pittsburgh during the offseason. He got injured during training camp, and because of that injury, he found himself back in the American Hockey League. But he had a chance to play on Saturday. He contributed with an assist on the very first goal, and he says for him, this is old hat, up and down, waiting for a chance. Yeah, obviously I think everyone's goal coming into camp is to try and make the team, and you know, when that doesn't happen, um, it can be a little disappointing. But um, like you said, I've been through it three times now, I think, four, four times before. So uh, used to it and just keep working and just wait for a chance, I guess. So Brian Gibbons is playing with Jack Skilly and Nick Felino. Jody, even though Nick is not a centerman by trade, he played there on Saturday. He did very well. He'll do it again tonight. Why do they work so well together? Nick Foligno is dragging guys into the fight. He's going to do whatever he has to do for, to help this team. He's fed up of hearing about injuries. He wants to win. you got Gibbons, who's excited to be here, thrilled to be here. And Jack Skilly is getting an opportunity he's never had in the NHL, and he's taking advantage of it. They started the other night in New Jersey, first shift with a goal. Look for them tonight to carry over tonight. Now, the Carolina Hurricanes are a team that up until this past weekend were struggling. They didn't have a win. However, they've got back-to-back -back victories now. They shut out the Arizona Coyotes, and then they beat the defending Stanley Cup champion, Los Angeles Kings. So they're feeling good about themselves. And a couple of players are very important to their success. One is their captain, and that is Eric Stahl. Another is a guy that plays on his line, Alexander Semin. He's actually been a healthy scratch the last two games. And there have been goaltending issues in Carolina for the last couple of years. They've talked about trying to trade Cam Ward. Well, now they're going right back to him. He's the hot hand. He's making his fourth start in a row. This guy's a Stanley Cup champion with the Carolina Hurricanes. He's tried to find his way, and boy, November's been a good month for him so far. Two wins. He's back in tonight. The Jackets have got to get after him. Semin. He's a big-time player, making big-time money, finds himself eating popcorn the last two games. Watch him tonight. The Jackets got to go after him. And then Stahl, he's been the leader and really the cornerstone of this foundation for a while. The Jackets have got to watch him. He's dangerous in tight areas. How do you know there's popcorn in all these press boxes? I know. <laughs> <laughs> for the Blue Jackets to get a win tonight, there are certain things they have to do. What are the YP keys to getting it done? Well, they got to go after Cam Ward. I just mentioned that. Key number one, get traffic in front of him all night long. Get him frustrated. Make him battle to see pucks. Don't make it an easy night for him. And key number two, Carolina is trying to play a fast game. Slow them down. How? Be physical in your face. You're in Nationwide Arena. Take them down. All right. There you have it. That's the game plan, and that'll do it for tonight's Time Warner Rink Report. For Jody Shelley, I'm Bob McElligot. Enjoy the game.